So the age requirements is well, it's right now a 17 plus, but we're thinking we're going to play it to 18 because we're tired of people, you know, being at their mommy and daddy's house and then they got bedtimes that they have to abide by because they're always coming in and telling them to get off their system and shit. Right. And sometimes it's the middle of a fucking heist, and that sucks for us. Or right. Yeah. Yeah. They don't help in a public lobby or whatever, and it's not their fault. So anybody who's in the crew right now, that was the first. It was uh, 15 plus. Then we moved it up to 16, 17, and then here soon, uh, it's going to be 18 plus. Now how the crew works is we're going to get people in here. The first to come and the first to get served, we're going to have a council. So all the higher ups in the crew are going to be council. We're voting everything. It's a democracy, not a dictatorship. The only time when I'm going to step in and say nope, this is going this way, no way else, is if someone breaks a rule in the crew. And depending on what rule they break, I'm just going to veto everybody's decision and kick their ass out. Right. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, you have to be active at least daily or every other day. It used to be three days a week, but then everybody decided to get in their head that, okay, well, I'll only get on a little bit on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and the rest of the week I'll just be absent. No, that's not what I meant by, you know, at least three days a week. So now it's either every other day or daily. And, you know, your real family and your real life comes first before a super video game. So, you know, that, that, let that be known now. Now, we're all about respecting this crew. There's all older fellows. I got a little 30, I got, uh, 30 year old, I got someone who's about to be 50 in the crew. Oh, yeah. So, we got some older fellows in here. Most of them are above 20 years old. So, uh, you don't kill other crew members unless you guys are trying to see what each other is about and train each other. Right, right. On. It's, it's okay. mutual and it's it's more like a yeah. exercise rather than a yeah I see yeah yeah makes sense and if somebody else in the crew like me or the second in command or director of operations or head of security anybody like that gives you an order just follow it because we know all the shortcuts like I'm teaching all my all the counts that I have now the shortcuts and, and, and my experience because I mean you didn't know you could do the heist like this it's a lot faster a lot easier and that's what I mean about me, us being more experienced. Not that we want to know it all or be dicks and just boss you around. There's a reason to the madness. So if we more than likely if we tell you to do something, it's because it's trying to help whatever we're doing out and make it go a lot faster because we have a motto. We work smart, not hard. And yeah, thing. makes sense. We're smart about those. Yeah, no, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I agree. If you're ever on GTA or if, you're, if we ever see you online, we send you an invite, we expect you to answer either by messaging us saying hey yo sorry bro I'm kind of busy right now playing with a friend I haven't played with in a long time or hey I'm just watching a movie or hey I want to take a day off from the crew if you answer us that's fine but we don't like to be ignored so when one of us sends you an invite or any crew member sends you an invite don't ignore them don't be silent you know at least answer yeah. hey, you know because that don't get you kicked out the crew I can't tell how many times I kick people out because they want to join the crew and they only answer the invitation either by joining the party or joining the session you know when it benefited them the most and I can't stand that if I'm your crew leader or if your crew members send you an invite just answer because it takes nothing about like maybe a minute and 30 seconds if that to get on your phone if you have the app on your phone or, or to get your PlayStation messages right and, you know say hey I'm kind of busy right now but I'll, I'll hook up with you later or hey I'm not feeling good there wherever the case is that right. way you know the communication yeah yeah, yeah. There is no racism in here, so I don't want to hear the word nigger, cracker, honky, uh, sand nigger, grease monkey, porch monkey, tar baby, none of that shit. You know? Because I don't put up with that. Because they have some black people in the crew, they have some Mexicans in the crew. Okay, I I'm white myself, and so to stop all that drama, even though you're playing around, I don't want to hear those words. Okay. Because there's a lot, there's a lot of white folks that, that have joined the, uh, the, uh, the crew in the past, acting like they're all fucking gangsters and shit, and they're saying the word nigger, and then this black dude is in the party taking some kind of offense to that, even though when his homeboy's over, he likes to call him a nigger, and we hear that shit over the mic. We don't want to hear that. Right, right. It causes a big, it causes a big problem. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. You know, the potential for that to get out of control is quite big. There's crew, yeah, there's crew vehicles and there's crew uniforms. You mandatory for you to buy, but as you can see now, I'm earning you money. So you never really have to come out of your own pocket 
because we'll help you earn the money to get what is necessary for the crew. Uh -huh. a military crew, so we expect you to have some kind of military uniform. Don't go clown face on us. We want to make it look kind of legit. Right. Never seen fucking Pennywise in a, on the fucking battlefield killing motherfuckers. Sure. <laughs> right. a balloon or fucking flying tomahawk, whatever the fuck that motherfucker uses, alright? Yeah. And there's a couple of crew vehicles, there's a wide range of them. The main crew vehicle I like people to have would be the Can the Canis Camacho because it has the military star. There's three of them. I love that truck. One on each door, and then one on the hood. And stuff. Uh... Mandatory at least have two types of crew vehicles, one that is weaponized and very heavily, that is up to you to uh, decide what to get, and then uh, we prefer you have the Kines Camacho because it said it's fast, it's great for off-road, it's the most militarized civilian vehicle without weapons that you can have, and, it, and it's, it's a badass truck. Alright, now the weaponized vehicle ranges from uh, DeLorean, the Deluxo, I believe it's called the DeLorean, uh, Let's see what else. Uh, uh, the tank, anything weaponized besides this. Said the half track is pretty much useless. We like vehicles to where you can operate yourself and cause a lot of damage. So that way, if we need backup, you can come in a weaponized vehicle and, and, and you know get some support out and stuff. The Akula is like one of the main ones I recommend for people to get because you can go off the radar for as long as you want, sneak up on a motherfucker and we're battling him and blow his ass out the fucking sky or if he's in the vehicle or whatever the case is. Oh, wow. I had fun with that Akula, man. I was like, I got kicked out of three lobbies today because I just kept blowing motherfuckers up because they're picking on low levels. Like, I, you, I, it pisses me off when I see a level, you know, 125 and above picking on level 50. I don't agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you because they're not on, yeah, they're not on they equal playing unlocked. field. Right. They and they're. Uh -huh. If you're above a level 125, you're free game to me because I'm a level 390 or something. But at level 125, you unlock the minigun, you get the maximum amount of armor you can stack up. Right. And you're free game to me. So, like, if I was going after you for no reason, which the crew, we really don't kill people unless we really have to. Now, sometimes we'll get bored, and then we'll look for bounties or, or, or trolls or bullies in a lobby, and we'll go after them without, you know, no, you know, without them provoking us. But right. Usually, if we just want to go on a random killing spree and we're in a chill lobby, we usually don't do that. We only kill if we have to. Okay. That way, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a more chill-out crew. We're not always grinding. Yeah, especially since we discovered this heist. But as I said, like every, before every Tuesday, we try to get as many heists done as possible, just in case it is patched. Right, and exactly. This is the biggest money-making thing right now on GTA. And you can bet Rob's oh, yeah. trying to do something. You know, I mean, my personal opinion, they would have to come out. With, I mean, once if it's not patched before the new update comes out, with the uh, you know you've been hearing about the new Empire update or whatever. Yeah, I heard a little bit about it. Yeah. Then, well, if it's not patched before, then it's definitely going to be patched after it comes out. Because Rockstar knows, you know, they don't, they, they'll see that, you know, people making a million dollars every 15 minutes, and it's legit money. Right. Like those car glitches. I don't like doing those car glitches because when you sell them, okay, when you sell them or you keep them, Rockstar, if they decide to look at your account, you're having shit that they, and your money doesn't add up. Like, right, it doesn't. Is it enough? Yeah. Or you, did, or you have too much, but this... If you look on your stats, uh, money from jobs, you, this counts as a job, and, you're, and that will go up. So we're getting legitimate money, so right. they can't prove that we're doing the fucking, uh, they can't, they can't prove that we're doing this glitch. Right, that makes sense. I see what you're saying about the duplication, though. Yeah, the money earned and, and everything, just it wouldn't add up. Now, the only way they would be able to ban your account or anything is if something... I don't know why I got in the bag. Weird. Force what, of habit, sorry. You're gonna have to get up to the uh, seat though, because uh, yeah, you're closing out this time. Right, I gotta see where. I mean, right. I always wait until I see the 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 side of the Avenger when us when we're coming out the door, and then I just close out that. I mean, I've heard rumors that you can you have until the cut seat ends. I don't want to chance it because mm, yeah, you know, me neither. Right. Alley up. Yeah, I wouldn't want to test it either. Out before you see yourself coming out the Avenger. Right. And if you're in the back, it takes longer for you to see that than if you were in the front. Right. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I just to force a habit just to go through the back. So, I, I knock out the helicopters and I go up front just like I did. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you something. You want to do it three times in a row and then we switch? 
Um, yeah, we could do that. You have a problem with that? Cause no, like, no, no, that's okay. One, and I'll have eight million, and then you do it two more times, I'll have ten, and then I'll do it three for you. Because I mean, uh, before you do that though, after this heist, uh, when you get back on the game, what I want you to do is join the crew. That way, before you even load into a session or whatever, you're already in the crew. You got the crew tag. Okay. You know, I'm not gonna fuck you over. I'm not gonna have you run it three times for me and then like ditch you. I don't do that shit because I don't like it either. You know, right, I understand. And I'm looking for people who are always on GTA, so you got my word. No one's gonna okay. fuck you over. As long as you don't disrespect me or anybody else in the crew, we're gonna be... I could be the nicest guy in the world. You fuck, it takes one time to fuck up with me and be disrespectful and get an attitude with me. And, you know, as much money as I have, I have all the firepower you could possibly have in GTA to come after you. That's not a threat, that's just how we're rolling the crew. If someone defects or someone gets kicked out of the crew, we find them in the session before we all unfriend them, and we fuck their ass up. Wow. Oh, it almost yeah, sounds like military oh, crew. yeah, yeah. This is the military crew. So if we take that as desertion, and desertion in the military will get your ass court-martialed, and depending on what you did, or get, you get your money ass. like this. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, the exactly. Past two weeks, I've had four people that I had to kick out. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, bless you. Goddamn sinuses, and you know one of them was a level three, and I got her ass up to a level thirty-five doing this fucking heist and shit. Yeah, just doing the heist. Yeah, wow, that's had, and everything she had was because of me. And then she wants to right. put her friends before the crew. That's not what you do. The crew comes before anybody else. I mean, that's that. I think that's fair. Anybody else on GTA, the crew comes first because the crew is your family. Okay, I see okay. that. And I think I think that's I think that's a fair that's a fair rule. Because we help you so much on GTA, if your friends mean a lot to you, you would try to get them to join the crew. Hmm. Okay. Now again, okay. we do understand that if you've if you've had a friend for like three or four years and you want to spend like you know four to six hours or even just a day chilling with them and take a break from the crew work, that's fine. But we do ask you. I don't want you running this heist for anybody else out of the crew unless you run it by me first. That's just what we do. Because the key, oh, 13 minutes and 39 seconds. 13.39, oh, that's good. Okay. Well, you understand why, like, it, like, see, usually we set a rule if a recruit don't mention the heist because a lot of people, you know, want to, we'll, we'll just join the crew for the money and then they'll leave. But since you right. already have the fucking heist, I didn't think that was going to be a problem. Right. I, I kind of did want to, you know, at least post it first because I was thinking, like, uh, you know, but... Well, that's what I do. That's, that's why I posted. I was like, I was getting bored. I watched the movie Priests on Netflix and shit. I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm getting bored. I want to hop on GTA. I need to recruit somebody, one or two people, and I want to run this heist. That way I can get you know, my money up. Right. And so that's, that's kind of what I was thinking. That's that's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> Watching Netflix, and I, and I was trying to sleep, and I couldn't, so... I don't hear. And then I saw. Then I thought about it, like if I can't recruit, at least if I find someone else who has this heist, I can make a lot of money, and and start buying some of the stuff that I need to finish buying it. And then after I get all the weaponized vehicles, there's some vehicles I want to get just because cause I think I can have fun with them. Like the tugboat, I got early, but that motherfucker I like, cause you can walk around that bitch. I mean, and it's fun as hell to have. Like yeah, when it's storming and raining, to be in first person driving that motherfucker is awesome, cause you got all these fucking waves and shit. Yeah. Second of command, he was on the lower deck. He got swept off the boat because we went up against a giant ass wave. <laughs> it took about five minutes for me to maneuver the boat for him to swim back to it. It was funny as hell. That is funny. <laughs> I, d I don't know how often I'm going to be on because my schedules are. they, they can vary. Well, as I said, if something comes up, your real life always comes first. All right. We just don't want you seeing you play Fortnite, you know, constantly and never getting on GTA or, or whatever. You know, if, if we don't see you on, that's fine. You know, you know, you're letting me know that hey, well, I got something I gotta do. Today. I can't get on. Sorry. If I get a chance, I'll hop on for 30 minutes to an hour or whatever, and then that time we can either fuck around, and shoot the shit, or run the heist together. That way, you can make some money so when you do get on, you can buy some more shit that you need or whatever the case is. So, as I said, right. the, the requirement is being active at least every other day, but as I said, if shit comes up, 
Just make sure I know. Or the second in command knows, and you're good. Okay. Um, um, what if, say, you know, hypothetically, um, because I do like Fortnite, uh, but I do want to play Fortnite for a while. I kind of get a little bored of GTA. You know, what's, what, is there a little gray area there, or what happens there? We give you, we give you a two-day grace period. So oh, okay. Like, do your own thing. I think that's fair enough, you know. Okay, okay, I gotcha. You just gotta give us the dates of where you're, when you're not gonna be on. Cause if we see you on, and we don't know the dates, like, if we, you, you could be on Fortnite, and that's not the time where you plan just to take a break from UTA, we'll send you an invite. But if you tell us the dates, like, say, hey, this, uh, at the end of this week, on Friday and Saturday, I'm gonna be just playing Fortnite, and I'm gonna give GTA a little rest. We understand about getting burnt out on GTA, and that won't be a problem. Gotcha, gotcha. And then it's always helpful to remind me on the day that you get the first two days that you're going to be off or whatever. Or if you want to split them up to say, hey, I'm going to play Fortnite on Friday all day. I'll, I'll meet up with you guys on Saturday, but then on Sunday I'll be back on Fortnite. And then I'll let you know on Monday what the scope's going to be for the week. So if you want to go by every week, like on Monday, you tell us what, you know, when you're going to be on or whatever. Wow, okay. We can't arrange our schedules because I was trying to arrange my schedule to be on GTA and trying to be the size or trying to have fun or fuck around and roll the cases. Any days, the most cool days. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see. So, so is that good? Is that okay with you? Yeah, that sounds good with me. Sorry, I'm kind of um, not talking a whole lot. I'm just. It's 3 a.m., you know. <laughs> I'm listening, though. I, get, I got you. I hope, you. I hope you stay up for a little while. Well, I was actually getting quite tired already. I don't know, maybe it's just... Three, if you could stay up long enough to run it three, three times for me, and then I can return the favor, that'd be awesome. Oh, shoot. Um, any chance well, we could... Just keep working. Just two more times for me, actually, that'd be good. Or if you can at least do it, like, one more time for me, and then I'll run it for you, that'd be awesome. Oh, man, I'm getting... That much. I'm getting quite tired, man. Could, can we do it tomorrow? Well, later today, uh, technically. What time? Um... I have a few things to do tomorrow, uh, late in the morning. What time do you think you... about... What time do you think you'd be on? Well, I'm probably going to be up until 8, 9 o'clock, maybe even later, depending on when I get sleep, because I got four hours of sleep last night at 8 o'clock, so probably later for you, it'll be 5 o'clock for me. So 12 o'clock for you would be 2 o'clock for me. You see where that, you see what I'm saying, where that goes? Right. So, what are you going to be doing at noon or afternoon? Will you be free then? Yeah, yeah, afternoon. Uh, right, afternoon so is a good time. All right, well then I'll see you there, but at least accept the crew invite. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, you. Oh, you sent it already? I never got the notification. That's that's weird. Let me check online. my phone. got a cruise. Online cruise. That's weird. I never saw it because I, I knew you were going to send it, and I was like, hmm. Sometimes it doesn't show up for you. It's a dick like that. I mean, at least we got to run it once, and I got a million dollars out of it, and so do you, so that's awesome. Yeah, I honestly thought I was going to stay up a little longer because, um, there it is. Um, I don't, I just, I couldn't sleep, so. Oh, yeah, that's right, it changes characters when you join a crew. I was like, what is it doing? <laughs> okay, well. There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and load my character in so that way it, it's just, I don't go to this next time I load up the game.
All right, there we go. Uh, uh, we'll see you tomorrow at some point. Okay, and sounds good. At least while the other crew members will be on. Uh, most of them get on at least every day. Uh, Purple Crack in the... I'm on daily. And, and now next month when I get my upgrade again, I'm waiting and... Get my my, uh, my shit got hit by a fucking storm surge. It's where it's, it's crappy. And, like Something's wrong with either the modem or the router, but instead of paying them to come out and fix their shit, which they're supposed to be doing for free... Yeah, they're I'm supposed to maintain their equipment. Shit. Well, I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna upgrade my Cox Internet to instead of 80 megabits per second. 100 megabits per second with a new panorama Wi-Fi box. And once I do that, I'll be playing a little bit of Battlefield 4, and then we can start doing live streams again in the crew and uh, uploading shit. Okay. Uh, uh, to YouTube again. So, you know, I'm usually on this motherfucker every day unless I have to go away from my house and I let my second in command know, and I try to let everybody else in the crew know. Hey. I'm not on, but as I said, I have the app on my phone, so anytime anybody has a question, or if someone needs to be kicked out of the crew, I don't have to be nowhere near my system, I just pull up the iFood app on my phone, and kick a motherfucker out if I need to. See, when I'm right. on the handle ship, I'm 100% I'm I'm usually strict with the rules, because I'm not there really to address the situation at a party, or talk to whoever did something, so if someone killed someone repeatedly, and it was on purpose, or someone was racist, or you know, someone broke one of those major crew rules. I'll just kick them out, and then you know, I'll let them as a like, hey, you're getting kicked out of the crew, and so I get back to talk to you just to find out what the fuck happened. Yeah, so you got like the basically like the little red button in your pocket if you're not at your system, you know, exactly. And so, and I got the PlayStation messages in my phone too. So if you send right. me a message on PlayStation, even though I'm not online, I'll still receive it. And then any questions, concerns, or complaints I can handle if no one else in the crew is on. All right. Okay. That sounds good. All right. Well, that was good meeting you. Um, it's already kind of cut this short, but I'm just getting tired. Fine. Right, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. But um, maybe uh, you can see we can see about your brother when you join the party again tomorrow. See. See. Okay. Yeah, the join. The one thing I can't handle is people that are a high level, and they come in from the crew thinking they know everything, and that way, and it makes a problem when you tell them to do something. Yeah, I understand. Them, That's like, why I was a little so more. Well. Yeah, I, I was a little more like, um, all right, I just you can kind of walk me through it and show me the way that you do it, and maybe I can learn something. Yeah, I, I totally understand, and I'm open to learn different ways of doing things. You can see how my way was a lot easier. Yeah, and, and quicker and everything. Yeah, definitely. So, I don't pretend to know everything, but I know a good bit. And the main, right. one of the main problems I have in the crew if they're not active is they come in here with an ego thinking that they know everything and, and they got to follow what the hell we tell them to do. And that's that's a big problem. But right. Anyway, oh, I know that, that feeling. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay.